Hello everyone and welcome back to Charlie Talks Football. So in today's video I'm just going to be previewing tomorrow's game Newcastle take on Manchester United at St James's Park now. I can't stress enough um, what an important game this is. I mean if we beat Man United we go um above them even though we're on the same points because we have a better goal difference but this is a hugely important game for the um the the top four race we can't let manchester united win this game and also we've got to get revenge on them after that carabao cup final we've got to try and get revenge and let's hopefully batter them now Joe Linton is back, so there's a chance he may play as well. Um, but Gordon also looks set to be um, back in time and could potentially play. Although I think he'll be on the bench because in my last video I said that I think that um, I thought that Gordon would miss um, the next couple of games, but it seems like he's ready. And anyhow said he's going to make a late decision on whether he will play or not. Now, I also um, want to let you guys know that Newcastle will play Rangers as well in a friendly next season. So that is something there for you, you, you Newcastle fans to look forward to if you're going I don't think I'm going, but something there to, um, to just touch upon. So, yeah, I want you guys to comment down below. What do you think the score will be for Newcastle versus Manchester United? I think it'll be a really close game, to be honest. And I'm going to go 1-0 Newcastle. Um, of course, it seems like at the minute in the league, Manchester United are in a lot better form um, than us at the minute. Marcus Rashford is scoring goals for fun, but we, we've got Isaac and he's also been scoring a lot of goals at the minute. So I think we'll be OK as well. Um, Botman, I'm hoping Botman will be fine and will be able to play but um, Lascelles didn't play too bad against Manchester City so um, that's not as, I don't think that's too bad I wouldn't be too disappointed if Lascelles um, played or not but um, I, this is so important to get the three points I mean a lot of people are saying if Newcastle don't get any form of either Champions League or European football, um, the season will be a disaster. And I've got to admit, I do agree with them because I know we've come so far, but surely um, with what we're doing, we've got to get at least some form of European football, like even Conference League, although I, re I don't really want to be in the Conference League. I'd prefer to just either be in the Europa League or the Champions league um but yeah guys i personally think that newcastle will get champions league football you know i've checked some of our fixtures and i think we will get there i think we'll be just one point ahead of tottenham um so i think we will be on 68 points and Tottenham will be on 67. So, yeah, that is my predictions for whether I think Newcastle will get top four. But, yeah, like I said before, I want you guys to comment down below. Do you think Newcastle can win? We've got to take revenge on them for what happened, for what happened um, last time. Also, hopefully... Um, Almiron also gets better as well. I think he should be fine. I think Pope's fine to play as well because he picked up a knock. But from what I've heard from Eddie Howe, he's perfectly fine. Now, I just want to tell you guys some interesting, an interesting bit of information now. Eddie Howe, well, um, before the Carabao Cup final, Eric Ten Hag said at his pre-match press conference that Newcastle United were an annoying team to play against and that we were time-wasted. Basically, I think it's just being salty that we're doing just as well and uh, even could even overtake Manchester United. But that's what he said last time and Eddie Howe has actually 
um, has responded to this and he basically just said, I can't really comment on what Eric Ten Hag has said and thinks that the media um, is sort of portraying Newcastle in a funny way. So that is interesting comments there from Eddie Howe. But let's hope we can get um, revenge on Manchester United and pick up the three points. So anyway, guys, yeah, it's nice to be um, uploading videos again. I will be starting to upload videos more regularly because I haven't been uploading for the past few days because I haven't been feeling great. But it's nice to be back. And anyway, guys, make sure to subscribe. Let's try and get to 500 subscribers. We've been on... Um, for over around over 400 subscribers for a while so let's try and see if we can get 500 and i'll see you guys tomorrow for the match reaction bye